جتنا جلد ہو سکتا ہے غریب عوام اگر روٹی کے لیے ترسیں گے تو اس کے لیے ہم ذمہ دار نہیں ہیں اس کے لیے ذمہ داری جو بھی ہوگی وہ انتظامیہ کی Pakistan's economy has been unstable for long. Now you must be already aware how severe Pakistan's condition has become. In fact, Pakistan is almost on the brink of an economic collapse. Amid the crisis, Pakistan's Prime Minister has expressed interest in serious and sincere talks with India. Do you know Pakistan got freedom on August 14, 1947? But democratic elections were held in 1970 after 23 years of being a free country. Till date, Pakistan has witnessed 29 Prime Ministers and the most shocking thing is that no Prime Minister has ever been able to complete the full term. Many Prime Ministers including Imran Khan have been removed from their post either due to corruption or through a military coup. Now let's discuss how Pakistan has come to this situation. Pakistan has witnessed back-to-back -back crisis. The country's economy has been pushed to a dangerous low due to numerous reasons which include death, possible political crisis, devastating floods, Pakistan's tense relation with India, inflation and significant shortage of power and energy. In this video, we will discuss whether Pakistan's weak economic condition will have an impact on India or not. According to Indian Council for Research on International Economic Relations, Pakistan's deep economic problems suggest that India may have to live with increased Chinese influence in border regions along Pakistan in particular and South Asia in general. When US enlisted Pakistan in the proxy war against the then USSR sections of Pakistan's ruling establishment, felt empowered to take hostile actions against India. However, not everyone believes that Pakistan will pursue an adventurous policy against India with Chinese support. Because of its investment in Pakistan, China would have a vested interest in stability, if not peace. Furthermore, China has previously demonstrated that it can exert restraints on Pakistan. It is too early to tell whether a China-Pakistan alliance will result in decreased or increase in anti-India activity, but India might need a new strategy to engage with Pakistan's external donors to mitigate risk arising from a volatile situation in our neighborhood. Despite the fact that Pakistan and Sri Lanka are in the grip of a severe economic crisis, India remains staunch with minimal trade activities with Pakistan and negligible strategic ties. India has already stated that unless Pakistan ceases its terror activities, it will not engage in any kind of trade with it. Given this situation, there are very less chances of a negative impact on India if Pakistan's economic condition further deteriorates. Do follow Jagran English for more such news and updates.